guys, Zach King here with the Motion 3 tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over a quick text tip. It's pretty cool, and I actually have to give the credit to this one to Mark Spencer over at Ripple Training because I saw this one from him. So let me show you how to do this text trick because it's pretty cool. Let's get started by grabbing some text. I'm just going to type in finalcutking.com. Scale it up. It really doesn't matter how big you go. Okay, so just place it in the middle somewhere. And now what I'm going to do is actually come into my library here. Come down to text styles. I'm going to grab just any old color here. Let's go with the green. Grab it and drop it on. Okay, cool. Now if you hit command 4, it takes you into your layers tab. And then in your canvas you want to hit shift Z so you can see your entire project. You're seeing the whole thing here. And we're going to duplicate this text. So select the layer, Command D, duplicate. You see a copy comes up. We're going to want to create its own group for each of these pieces of text. So for this one, let's drag the copy out into its own group. You can see now the copy has its own group and the original has its own group. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the original. And what you want to do is come up to Add Filters color correction and levels right here okay now you want to come in your inspector and we're going to turn these levels pretty bright like so and we can also come into the original text here to our inspector under text styles and we're going to make this glow about 20 or 25 I'll go with 20 and make the blur about 20. Now it looks really bright right now, but that's okay. It's kind of a dazzle effect. But what we're going to do is add a mask to this text, but we can't do that because it is text and you can't add mask to text alone. So what we need to do is add a separate group to this text. So we're going to come up to new. There's a group two here. Drag that text in there. And now we're going to select this group and grab the mask tool, which is right up here. And go ahead and just clip a small area, like a diagonal rectangle. And you can see how it kind of cuts out the rest of that. So what we're going to do with that is come into our mask tab, make the feather a little bit bigger so it's nice and smooth. Good. Come back to our arrow key. And you can see this mask, we can move around, and that's the effect. You can guess what I'm getting at is going down the line like this with the effect. So we're going to keyframe this now. Let's go ahead and do that. Make sure our playhead's in the beginning. Hit record. Let's go 115 frames in. Drag it across. And now let's play that. Good, so you can see that effect turned out pretty cool, and there's a couple variations. You can change the amount of glow or the amount of level that you have in there and the feather as well. But that's a pretty cool text trick. I really like it, and it's pretty professional. You see it all the time. Check out more tutorials at www.finalcutking.com. I'll see you guys later.